Now chat, Black Ops 2. There will never be a game like Black Ops 2. Chat, is Black Ops 2 your favorite Call of Duty? Let's get right into it. Let's see. Black Ops 2. This, this Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Call of Duty Black Ops 2? probably invokes so much nostalgia, nostalgia. in you. Nostalgia. a pleasant reminder about how simple uh, life used to be. Nostalgia overload. Black Ops 2 came out in 2012. The game is Damn. basically a decade Chat. at this point. And Black Ops 2 is 10 years old. I was 14 Bruh. years old when this game was first introduced to the world. That's I'm foul. I'm 24 now, and I'm life is I was 14 exceptionally as well. different, as I'm sure is True. the case for all of you as well. True. What is it Mr. about Beast Black Ops 2 Black that Ops makes too, the Chat. game so special, though? On the surface, Black Ops 2 is just another run-of-the-mill Call of Duty game with the standard it really is. of a single-player campaign, traditional COD multiplayer, and... 10 years old, is BL2 still 60? The game is looked at wow. by nearly everyone these days with a sheer reverence for it and fun it's memories a great of each call, element. Man. In fact, I literally started my YouTube channel on this very game. Same. It sparked my love and interest for creating content, Mob of the Dead. I would not be here today without it. But MP what was I'm so great on this game. Finding too. out whether we truly loved Black Ops 2 because it was genuinely a good video game, or were we in love with the relative simplicity of our lives at the time? It's a hard question uh, to dude, answer. Ah, dude, I think it was a great extent, game. I think it's impossible, but I think it's a mixture of both. The nostalgia from analyzing this game objectively, but I'm gonna do my best to do that. Anyway. I mean, that's fair. After considering all of the parts of Black Ops 2 deeply, whether you liked or disliked the game, it's fair to say that there will never be a another game quite like unfortunately yeah they, they proved that with bl3 and 4 chat do you guys like the campaign Black for bl2 2 was what some would probably consider i did to be love the it pinnacle of the cod franchise 2025 the peak of the series if you will. to some degree that depends on your perspective on chat, is this BL2 real 2025 was footage? the peak for cod but it doesn't really matter i don't think it case, was it at least made an impression not on for zombies always so deeply that it's still talked about even to this day that is certainly it not is the case definitely for. though the most iconic COD game Every I would say game. everybody and knows this BO2 indicates to me that Black Ops 2 truly brought something unique and new to the table I that agree will stick with us for the rest of our lives I agree in my opinion Black Ops 2 is a lot like Jennifer Aniston it most likely represents a big part of huh? your childhood or past if you watched Friends on TV and it's also one of the most gracefully aged things on planet Earth. I mean, At true. least in the sense that most Call of, of the gameplay <laughs> direction and core gameplay are, are still very palatable in 2022. And in the context of 2025 is games, only two and a half years two, away. Even now, isn't too Chat, far off. Are we about to be living in Black Ops 2? Is this is this the gameplay footage we're about to have? What considered acceptable in my opinion. I see BO2 as a genuine sequel to Black Ops 1. And not just in the story sense, but in how the gameplay evolved over It time. feels more Fair like a sequel than Black Ops, Black Ops 3 does to 2. COD game today I agree with at that. the time, and it seems like they achieved it. It's worth noting that not everything paid off, however. There are some aspects of Black Ops 2 that definitely do fall apart under scrutiny, but as an overall package is... I mean, I think it's well way executed. better than BO3 and in terms of campaign, as player goes, Black Ops 2 did one of the more interesting things I've seen from a COD game maybe Yes, ever. Instead yes. Instead of being a one and done on the rails it was fun. experience, people are so invested RPG in the BO2 campaign. Alongside the classic campaign format to make a branching pathway story arc structure where yeah. the things you do in game And I, chat, I still think BO2 did it better than cold war i don't know chat do you guys like the bl2 campaign or cold war in a big way and can vastly affect i think outcome. i like cold and wars the less of the strike force mission bl2s was still just fun, better it all added to the experience that was the black ops 2 arc we will get to campaign in more detail momentarily, but as far as the multiplayer side of things go, it seems they set out to make the most engaging and viscerally fun experience possible. Taking the core gameplay of the Black Ops Arena multiplayer, but expanding it was like it Black and Ops and Modern Warfare combining in a lot of, of aspects of this game. For the hardcore players and, and the maps the are so delight. iconic black ops too. 2 multiplayer seems to be just as memorable to people as something like cod 4 True. or Modern warfare 2 multiplayer literally well. literally i really can't find anyone that hasn't at least played chat do you guys think this is the most iconic cod game or, or is modern BO2 warfare 2 more iconic at one point in time or another. i don't know i think bo 2 is we maybe all more it seems and i can't tell well though. You can tell they had a or big vision two. for I don't what know. this mode could be, and they took some extreme Maybe risks MW2. with this iteration. And again, not all of those There's, risks It's so hard to off. tell. But honestly, in some cases, I think the flaws in Black Ops 2, and I'm talking the game as a whole, are actually what make this game beautiful to me. The game isn't perfect, far from Fair. it in fact, but you, you don't Fair. even want it to be a perfect game. 
It's insanely it's fun. It's a good, it's perfect, enjoyable. unlike BO4, Partly, though. That is a direct result of some of its Man, flaws. Uh, B and Nuketown 2025 is fire. Stick with me. I promise that would make sense. It's the only good Nuketown I like, Black man. Ops 2 has the sense Outside in the original. every element of its core game that sticks in your memory. Everything yeah. from the campaign to MP and zombies all have these unique qualities. While not all of them are good, at least remain in your mind. But let's get True. down to it and figure out why Black Ops 2 is so special among the COD franchise, starting with the single-player campaign. Hey there, real quick, before we continue any further, I'm going to be making a review video like this for every single Call of Duty one gang title. chat, you guys like BO1 one or 2 more? Ah, so I don't know, dude. Multiplayer lobbies, it's always a question I have. Yo, shout out to the bots! Members, so you guys Let's go! If you want to support this kind of content and become a channel member, not dude, only does it ah, uh, I don't know, man. I'll also be playing with you guys. I like BO1 like zombies, I think, more than 2. Some older Call of Duty games. So if you want to take but part in that, you I can like become two a member, still, and it would be great. I don't know. I can never decide. If you don't want to do that, the least you can do is subscribe to the channel They're for so more of these similar. reviews and it shows that around 80% of you guys aren't currently subbed and we are getting really close to half a million so make sure that dude I checked my already. sub anyways, statistics I was at like 60 40 I was shocked and, uh, I didn't expect that shout out to that guy I fucking forgot his name it's been so long all right I'm just gonna come out and say it Black Ops 2 probably has my favorite COD campaign possibly ever chat bl2 campaign or bl1 so charming ah, and dude i think i like bl1 bl1 was way so more iconic overlook the bl2 was flaws. great though the basic premise of the campaign is both a journey back in time in which you play through the stories of frank woods and his operations yeah it was it was a Mason way better campaign than bl3 or targets. four frank woods was tortured by raul menendez and wants revenge through yep. an unfortunate error, Frank Woods also ends up causing the death of Raul Menendez's sister, which causes their hatred for one another to deepen even further. The structure per mission involves Sad, cutting bro. back and forth between the day, where you play Wait, primarily as David Mason, Alex's son, and try to stop Raul Menendez and his plan for Cortina. Raul Menendez was In such a, a great villain. Raul is primarily to this focused Twitter, on LOL. cyber warfare, which is creepily similar that to our Twitter, current day, bro. despite being they a thought Twitter would was gonna look like that in 2025 and now not only does the cutting back and forth between time periods help illustrate the storytelling very well but it also keeps it visually and thematically interesting so one thing never gets played out for too long this if footage looks like dead ops arcade wood stuff in the past bam cuts right back to present i know day with David Mason dude all the futuristic the footage was so as soon good as that starts to get boring bl2 bam, campaign right ending again. was incredible also, the black as well. ops 2 campaign has probably oh my, my favorite COD villain for its main antagonist ever maybe besides makarov Raul Menendez I is agree. such a well developed Raul, Raul is literally that second the to Makarov, of the I think. missions, you get to learn why he's so twisted and evil. And to some extent, you're forced to empathize with him and even feel sorry for him at times, despite being a horrible monster. The mission yeah, where you play as him just after Noriega breaks you free, the exaggerated realism with the over the top blood splatters, the pulsating HUD, and the kind Dude, of. Dude, yeah, this is such a great campaign mission. Altogether. I love it's this. It's this like heightened realism, and it's one of those points where you get to understand your enemy's motivations to a level I It I was like so great. Very often. It was such a Stepping great way of storytelling. I, I remember this too. Is so yeah. effective in making you at least care about the stakes even more. I agree. I just think of Vanguard with generic Nazi man who's a bad guy. <laughs> Hell, bad. bro, Vanguard, what is this? Outright tell you what is like this? And Chad, did anyone play the Vanguard campaign? Dude, this shit looks Perfect garbage. saints, basically. They may as well be superheroes with no real depth. A much I know, more interesting right? protagonist is also one that struggles against the conflict within his or herself, Yo, as well as anime. fighting the external threat. And shout out to my homie that, One Piece, of doing man. The right thing all the time at every possible moment is far more interesting. In Black Ops 2, the way that you see Raul Menendez will alter your I know, of him such later great storytelling. That brings me to why. And I, you, you would watch all the cutscenes on the YouTube Black Ops about 2 it campaign too. Campaign is great. The yeah. multiple outcomes and the players it was phenomenal genuine definitely nine this out of ten experience cod campaign that has a deep emphasis on player choice i agree One criticism i have for which campaign why they general, never brought it back in a lot we of ways know. they're just very on the rails boxed in almost yep. interactive movies be like you're, you're just watching a story unfold instead of actively participating in it yeah and deal to your participating fine. i genuinely have nothing against that style of storytelling in call of duty my point is I love the BL2 campaign HUD too. It looks so clean. Way. 
there's the obvious choices so like good. should I kill this guy on the spot or not, or the famous shooting Mason. What episode of OP you on? I mean, dude, we're but the in thousands. order to get the best possible ending, you have to do random things as well, like grab an offhand document in in, in a random mission, and even yeah, the intel a, felt a, like it actually mattered fire. on campaign. Uh, so better than Cold War zombies intel, bro. Just I'll tell you that. Subtle choices like that dramatically affect the outcome. This Some is ordinary gamers is live streaming COD tier list. It is so foul. Chat, so do I check it out? Personally invested in it. Maybe and I'll check it out after. That'd be funny. Much more carefully than I normal. like him. The scene where you're on I'm the boat be sad and if he has a start bad getting shot. List. There's like 934 outcomes of this scenario, depending on Dude, what you do. Dude, I know, to that right? Mission. How did and they have the time? Very unlikely that most people who played the BO2 campaign ever got the best ending at all, unless they did the very That's specific crazy, things you need to man. do during the playthrough, or they did multiple playthroughs. Which Chad, did you guys exactly replay the BO2 campaign? campaign? Yes or it's no? Not all I perfect, did. Though. It was the there only was campaign I ever replayed. Added called Strike Force missions. Like the now, story interested me that much. Optional, but in order to get a good outcome, you have to complete all of these. Yeah, missions. and the Strike and missions weren't too bad. These are all boring and terrible disasters. I mean, Basically, when I was when I was younger, I liked them. From the main story being told, but I agree. Is more like an RTS game where you do basic objectives. And True, it's very like COD mobile down That I just find mind-numbingly boring personally. I, I liked it as a kid though. As quickly as possible but yeah, to get back I, to the good going stuff, back, I had probably to do not them that to get great. the good ending. Yeah. They just don't really seem to fit well from a story or gameplay perspective with what the rest World of War BO1 and BO2 through. campaigns and honestly, probably my like top filler. three favorite. The Next to like length, I, not including Modern Warfare, I guess. Isn't all that long. There's also a traditional creative class system. This camera was so and, unique. Well, dude. I can like, appreciate look at it. This. There's some neat special weapons you get access to from it. The choice of weaponry matters zero in the great Basically, I it's yeah, just that's so very you can true. Use your preferred weapon but it makes it feel more. There's a lot of neat little details I noticed as I was replaying it too. When you shoot Mason so that it isn't a lethal shot, you can see a really small mouth movement just before it fades oh, to black. Oh, dude, I know alive. they but do so, so many interesting little things like that. That's what also, makes it so it interesting. How apparently, everyone in this game is a short king. I guess according <laughs> to the game, Chloe or Karma is five foot two and what? ninety-five pounds. And when you see her standing next to any other character, she's just as tall, if not taller, <laughs> than everyone else. No short king campaign. Kind of quaint, Damn. Or, I don't know, outdated, but. Honestly, not as much That's as so you'd expect for a ten-year-old. This game. spider was kind of cool. Those things still I feel like somewhat plausible or in touch. It also doesn't overstay its welcome. Some COD campaigns, I feel like, seem. I feel like this on, is the campaign, like the last campaign that people cared about. Time in exchange for an engaging. Experience. To be honest, Black I really Ops do 2, think so. Aside from the strike missions, has no fluff. Cuts right to the chase yeah, and true. gives you what you need to know. True. And above all else, is just a genuinely fun single player experience. The gameplay is about what you'd expect. You know, it's clearing levels. Modern Warfare 2019 had a good campaign, guys, but, but dude, it wasn't like world renowned like BO2 it's was. Satisfying. This I campaign was capturing everywhere Mendes online. Seeing man. Woods and Mason reunite at the very end. It's a nice moment that feels earned given the choices everywhere. you had to make so it would happen. The Black Ops 2 campaign will probably genuinely stick with me for the rest of my life. Dude, it's same. not the most genius or well-written story or, or anything, but it was it's just so cool. memorable for a lot of reasons, and it yeah. absolutely stands out among the cool series. Cool seeing branching an storylines in COD, campaign. man. And I sincerely yeah. hope they make this branching story structure again. I know they didn't. Cold Why War, they have it after ten endings, years? I liked that campaign a lot too. I mean, with Cold but it War, it didn't have the nuances. I know it wasn't as like interesting. Yeah. Not to mention, the campaign made a great basis and premise for the iconic multiplayer experience. So let's talk about that too, shall we? Ooh. Any BO2 MP lovers, dude? I like BO2's MP, but I like Modern Warfare 2's more. I think. I do love this MP. It's probably my favorite Black Treyarch 2, MP. Honesty, Black Ops 2. Might be Definitely, I think of, my. If not the best I think their best MP. Experience. Now, I really I'm do not think it's their best. It's perfect or flawless. In fact, far from it. But again, a lot of its It was so colorful too. Look how colorful this gameplay is. So let's just dive in. Yep. More colorful than a lot of Zantan other Zantan COD games. The multiplayer of Black Ops 2 so Black Ops damn good to me. Not only is the game absolutely overflowing with personality, but it yeah, also there's a ton the line of personality too. Fun and balanced, the best. True, so yeah. Let's start with that. I think nothing was speaking, super duper OP in this MPs game. On a spectrum, on one end you have just pure chaotic MW2, fun, which is pure where everything's OP. broken from a technical and balanced standpoint, but at least it's fun. Classic example I always use is Modern Warfare 2. On the other hand, you have ultra meticulous Dang. balance and good technical gameplay. 
I don't know if there's a great COD example for this, but something like Counter-Strike... I do think the score streaks are a little bit underwhelming in BL2, though. ...was fair balance, but either way, I you could, get the point. I could honestly Black say Ops that. Black Ops 2 was able to the be kill balanced streaks, I mean, dogs are cool. without losing its fun but factor. I wish there was something else. A perfectly balanced game runs into the danger of becoming boring, and Black Ops 2 avoids great this camels, in though, very this intelligent ways. So, what do I mean Load by that? Start. BO2. I mean, there were some good ones, but dude, I really do like nukes. Weapons and perks. I like that Each feature. And therefore attachment this game had nuclears, but it wasn't like an MW2. The best zombies map of all time. Seems to make the Kino most sense Black in this game. There are just I like a lot of the streaks. I just wish the nuke was in like filler, but still having ample, meaningful changes you can make to your class. Dude, look how I great guns look it, in this game. Something about look at this B23R. Feel and the I know. Just feels so damn and a lot of them aren't even real, man. The maps are also, uh, with a few exceptions, <laughs> I know. Classic COD yeah, so many of them are maps, great. With their own unique flavor of Slum's phenomenal map. The maps were all designed as well with the sandbox specifically of Black Ops 2's weapons. Field 2's got to be one of the most colorful I've MPs. Noticed, I'm sure many of you like out of any MP. I'm about to say. But I swear, in older games like Black Ops 2 multiplayer, I can remember in detail the names of MP maps. I know how they true, look and feel, true. and they left a big impression on me. I mean, yeah, Same with a the lot of games solution. haven't really done that. I could that. probably name you every gun in each class in Black Ops 2 without looking at them, genuinely. And I don't really know why that is. Everything about this game you do just very vividly it. in my yeah. memory, and I, I don't understand. Maybe my brain has Feel reached MP was more colorful for remembering COD guns and maps. Feel, but I, yeah, I, like I think I agree with Infinite that. Warfare specifically, I could no longer retain the names and images of maps and guns in my mind. They all started to blend together at a certain point, but with BO2, there's no mistaking something like Raid or, or Nuketown 2025 or Hijacked. In fact, now that I think about it, Black Ops 2 was. I think BL2 definitely the has the most iconic map MP selection. Maps reimagined for new COD projects. You know what I mean? True. In, yeah. In BO4 and Cold War, there were a bunch of Black Ops 2 maps and even BO1 in yeah. each game brought yeah. over. Nothing original from BO3 and then on. Very true. Its movement system. Very true. Or, and even, even though I think BO3 has, has great maps point too. Is they're all great MP COD maps. Games like BO1 and 2. It's what people remember most and, and like I playing. barely remember any BO4 MP. What sticks out in your memory more? Slums or Morocco? Or Literally. How about Standoff in BO2 or Arsenal in BO4? <laughs> I know. I that's a bit like, what the hell is really Arsenal, bro? Like COD maps don't have <laughs> BO4, bro. Like remembrance power in our minds so these days. Bad. Same with weapons, generally speaking, as well. And when it comes to attachments, I also give BO2 MP some credit. It has enough attachments and gives you a fair amount of freedom to experiment with them without... Dude, they were like great, fun. man. Again, the new COD attachment system is interesting, and I think Modern Warfare 2019 personally does it best, but I'm thinking... Like I agree. Vanguard, I do think that MW different did variants better. Of attachments Look at this shit. Vanguard, stop. Used, and they certainly aren't memorable. At I all, hate like the Vanguard's attachment system. Every I agree. Weapon, it's too map, much. Attachment, equipment, it's like 900 so options for one gun. This game. And again, I'm not saying the gameplay balance is perfect. Dude, this map was amazing fact, on BO2 as well. Be, but the most broken aspects of BO2 Such MP5 great camos is too. within the score streaks. Black Ops 2 was also the first game to innovate on the core defining element of MP. The killstreak system has been slightly modified to reward objective players as well instead of those. Dude, the HUD on BO2 MP is also the probably the best HUD in all of MP. It perfect sense for it's Black so Ops 2 clean. MP. Like, look the at this. You can barely see it. Broken elements come into play. It's like blending in with the game. Really it's like criticism. light gray. What a great color. Just plain overpowered some of them. And once you get streaks rolling in BO2, it's like the most fun cod experience there i was. mean i agree dude i think a lot of streets are good i just wish there was a like nuke the worst to be on i do miss like moab that's the duality though you like have that. to consider you want fun kill streaks then you have to accept sometimes it's gonna suck to play against yeah them. you're gonna get i don't even deleted. really consider this a fault of bo2 and i think the score streaks in some sense are really what made the game stand out i agree and with all that, that too. was just to do with sheer gameplay which there is a nuke there's nuclears but there's no like nuke thing that you call it classic handcrafted fun but the same game is also just literally overflowing with personality. First off, game modes like Gun Game, One in the Chamber, and those kinds of Dude, party games. Dude, the party were so games were lit on DL2. Also, the game had a full I hate that they wouldn't mode bring them that back. You to man. Record your games, upload clips. To yeah, the theater board, mode that too, the dude. The Remember that was see, just a feature in all these COD games. Literally whatever you wanted. So sad, there was so much man. creativity that came out of that aspect alone. Also, 
I I'm just gonna say it. I miss Emblem Editor so much. Same. The sheer creativity Same. as well of BO2 emblems. Are they took it out, chat, you because pe people were doing pee pees and, and poo poos, even a whole man. Section of YouTube people literally had YouTube channels because of this. Emblem art. Look at I this. God, some crazy. Nights I would spend more time working on and perfecting an emblem than I would spend playing the Same, actual game. Same, man. Unfortunately, though, I don't think we'll ever see this feature again. Now yeah, emblems come too much pee -pee -poo -poo. and they're they Dude, I know the these emblems or, suck. Or I agree. The color emblems are so dog water. Look at these trash. Who cares about anymore. this shit? I I'd argue the same with calling cards too. Granted, some people did abuse the emblem system as well to some degree, but it certainly wasn't the majority of people, and they also found a way to monetize emblems, so sadly, I don't Wait, think we'll really? ever see that again. How did Speaking you monetize emblems? What? There was some bundle in Vanguard that came Wait, out not too long ago. Oh, with a gun like with a a, few the other bundles, things. I see. Ironically, an emblem that cost $40, literally Bruh. more than half the price of the full game, and you only get the blueprint for that specific weapon. In BO2, I also hate now, chat, that the best emblems in COD are the ones that move. It's so dumb. It's just because that's a feature now. Dude, I agree. Emblem editor was the best. Gun in the entire game with no exception. The COD Ghost or, Camel? This, no a grand way. total, wait for it, of a whopping, a massive two... Two dollars! Yeah. Let's go! Let that Two dollar pack me. camels. So, uh, yeah, we remember that, dude. Two dollars, dude. It, it, Anybody can spare like two guns bucks? and maps, the DLC camos are almost all inspired and incredibly memorable. Probably the True. most consumer-friendly version of this dynamic that's ever existed. And yeah, it's I think the COD Modern Warfare 2019 store sucks ass. It's just spam. It's just spam, and they'll never get rid of it now because it makes them so much money, man. Just modern so COD shit. that this has affected, though. This I system agree. started it's to so get garbage. way out of hand all the way back in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, but that's a discussion for another time. My I point agree. is, while well, the gameplay has its flaws, things like lag compensation... It I wasn't pay to win, though. About. The but like BO3. BO3 uh, was literally pay to win. Which I don't personally believe is the boogeyman everybody makes it out to be, but again, that's an entirely different topic for another time. But also, you know, broken guns here and there occasionally and so on. Black Ops 2's MP is generally regarded as one of the most fun and fair multiplayer experiences to date. Not to mention the personality. It's wild in that in 10 years, nothing has really taught BO2's MP. That's actually so wild to me, chat. Isn't that sad? Chat, what is your favorite MP? Is it is it better than BO2? Then it's it's been 10 years, go. dude. Just like the campaign, we still haven't BO2 beaten it. multiplayer will probably it's stick with me to forever me. as well. Very fond memories of it, even to this day and wow, just a great dude. gameplay experience that does hold up with time. Oh Black no. Black Ops 2 multiplayer has a lot of new things. So we did some <laughs> what is this? The game. <laughs> okay, Black Ops 2. Shout out to zombies, man. Now, we come to the point of the video that I've been really excited for. This is obviously where my wheelhouse is, and I've been wanting to talk about Black Ops 2 Zombies for a while, and it's complicated, so stick with me. Black Ops 2 Zombies is memorable because it has some of the worst offerings in Zombies ever, combined with some of the best, but it's not that simple. You'd be led to think, based on that logic alone, Black Ops 2 Zombies would be a pretty below average game in terms of Zombies if you only looked at that element. But, but you know what's crazy that also saved BO2 more so than BO4? BO2 has a great gameplay engine. And it's wild how even on the shittiest maps ever made, the great gameplay engine is what literally carries it. Unlike BO4. Most things in life, it shows how gameplay engine is that. everything. So let's start with it's a bit number of one about dude. Black Ops it's the most zombies. important This project thing. was primarily headed by Jimmy Zelensky. Look at this Gidding, dude. Who is also responsible Look for at this many dude. of your favorite maps in Black Ops 1. In BO2, Look they set out to guy. change the zombies formula by no longer having you in a confined space, but retaining the core gameplay. My man Jimmy was also too ahead of his time with world. his ideas. And the way they talk about it's it, just too you upsetting. can see what they probably envisioned. He should have been it's making his stuff on like PS5. Yeah. The idea is to say, you know, as far as you need to go or would want to go, um, to do the things you'd want to I've do, never seen this. The, what the, the heck? Story elements and things that you can find that actually help your this is archaic footage. And, um, as far as like actually constructing things out of junk you find in the, in the, in the yeah. environment. Um, you know, that, that's... Dude, that look how archaic this is. You can just run Holy. across the map in half a round and, and get that. We needed to give them multiple locations around, you know, 
a very expansive. <laughs> I'm not trying to explain uh, transit. Foot, There's nothing to explain, the vehicle bro. Vehicle is going to be a little more protection, so we wanted to give them kind of choices of how to till the how zombies to attack. Protect. It sounds Dude, cool on paper. Yeah, it does but sound it's also cool from what he's saying. The development of transit in this case footage, man. was also held back much by the hardware limitations. Well, look at this at the time. Developing for both the PS3 and the Xbox 360, what they actually Ted wanted Solo's to do with transit Shadow just Man, I wasn't agree. technologically agree. possible given that hardware, despite them giving it their best shot. In fact, the entire reason that denizens and the fog in between areas even Chat, exist isn't at that all, wild that Outbreak is basically the realized version of transit and people still hate it is to slow like i just think the so idea the in and of itself was probably just bad jimmy z i'm sure had you know? good intentions for what transit should like been. i think shadows of evil is a better version of transit there were to even be honest. entire areas it's basically the same cut thing. from transit and Dude, even features look at and, that. And whole game modes that were scrapped as yep, a result we've seen this before. the engine at the time simply could not support the full version of what treyarch intended and they cobbled together what they could for this on-disc experience so it's obvious at this point transit is indeed objectively a bad map but why does everybody remember it so well in contrast duran fong in vanguard is also i mean true it's that's such a great point it's also just because of iconicism nostalgia and also it's fun on co-op so it's not fun on bad, solo but it doesn't even have one percent of the remembrance power i agree that transit does i agree why not though and I want to make this point crystal nobody clear. nobody playing Vanguard. Something can be objectively poorly designed, yet still be fun. Yeah. Whereas the opposite can also be true. Yeah. Something can be objectively designed very well, and yet still, be still lack any real hell. fun. Very Transit true. falls into the category of the former, where its design, yes, is fundamentally very flawed, yet most people can recall some of their favorite zombies' memories and moments on this very map. In fact, Which it's is part wild. of its scuffed nature that wild make it a blast say. to play with friends. Wild Let me explain what loud. I mean with an example. The Pack-a-Punch system in transit requires you to place a turbine at the bottom of the power station. In solo, this can be a real pain in the ass because the zombies can still lock on and break that turbine while you're running to the bank the turbine, safe to bro. get the door open below. If you don't make it in time, the door stays also, shut. Also, BL2 PAP is turbine, kind of not that place great. Place it down, try the whole thing again. In co-op, really you need too to much. coordinate when somebody is placing a turbine and get somebody else down there on the opposite side of the room in the bank to keep it open. This adds the element of cooperation required to achieve There's more that players goal. in World of War also, than the Vanguard fact Zombies. That fast I mean, travel that, I'm not surprised by that. Entirely random. There's no way to guarantee yeah, that you true. can revive this map is, has the five the mechanic, but of the map. way If worse. you get lucky, sure, but it's no, it's no guarantee. Again, this is bad gameplay, but admittedly something that makes it more fun. One general test I like to use as a marker to determine if a map has a good layout design is if hypothetically a teammate downed on the farthest point on the map. Oh, that's away a good. From you, that's a good could point. You still revive them. You could not do that out. on transit. If the answer is no. Or it's voyage. It's not a good signal. Transit yeah. doesn't make this guarantee. That's so in, in true. Shadows that is Evil, a good it's point. It's a big map, and somebody going down on the other end can mean game over. But you use you the can beast still get sites, them. you can reach yep. anyone anywhere on the map and revive them because of the increased speed. Well, look that at this Spider-Man looking it's homie. What the Transit heck is going on over really here? doesn't really have that level of foresight, but that's fine. Foresight. That's the beautiful part of Transit. Force it does, however, have Tombstone, which allows you to reach. Shout out to my boy, dude. And look at that guy. The next round, which is round as hell. It's just that it's fascinating because there's no right way to play Transit. Most of the buildables have multiple use cases, such as using the ladder for I the just bus, hate or to, you can use the diner to get the galvanicles. Jimmy Z maps like in Century general, and especially and like Transit, are that. truly the most open, free-form sandbox maps we have ever seen in Zombies. Which There's is wild. It's more, more free-form than Outbreak. You load up Transit either solo wild. or with your buddies, and you never quite get the same experience twice. Not to mention, Insane. it's also where the storyline really started to grip me, oddly enough, and I can tell you exactly why. Okay, so I've made the case in the past that the reason the Ancient Chaos story evil? didn't captivate players in the same way was because despite maybe being a good story, it's a story being told to us. Yes, the and also the characters have to be one of the most unrelatable characters of all time. I hate the writing of Chaos. I don't understand what people were saying that they were getting interested after Ancient Evil. Sure, it was cool from the spectacle point of things, but these four characters suck. I think the reason why Primus and Ultimus are so good is because they're relatable, and we've yet Neo to see that still in Zombies. I felt like relatable it was more like zombie we were characters. Writing the story still have not 
not prayer, seen that. Theorizing and, and speculating. Chat. And after doing some digging. I'm literally going to say this out loud, and I think it's the correct statement. I think zombie YouTubers would be a better crew than anything but premise. Probably don't that like. That is literally true. Literally. It's because pe we would just be relatable and people would find that funny. You know? I'm not even going to fucking lie. I think that's the truth. It is. It is us, it is them, it is- I think the best that zombies that that characters are relatable. We can spin those you know? ideas back with them. Um, we can put ideas out and just see how- Victus sucks as well because it's just it's really not relatable kind of as well. Uh, we never really meet face to face necessarily, but we, we, are, we are watching what they're doing out there and, and, you know, listening to how they respond to the things that we put in there, so. Transit really became the most enigmatic map in terms of looking for new things and having such a mysterious aura around its unanswered questions. Like nobody really knew if Bus Route B. Was I mean, that's real what also appealed to, to the, the nostalgia transit of it, horse, I think. If you recall that, uh, shout the out night to the bus, horse. Jimmy Z even saying Transit has a unique ending besides just death. Uh, the Nevada site, different. Yeah, fuck. fuck you, Zelensky, for that. The unique ending is you getting your fucking Sprout, job taken away from area, you, bro. Alley, Come on, and so on. Man, even the secret the radio unique ending is Jason Bundell in stepping a in. Very specific way to hear that. That was so These lame had of him to do. Such a captivating and thought-provoking energy to them that you could do nothing but speculate after, which is kind of why I got interested in the zombie storyline in the first place. Dude, I do agree. Transit had better radios than Cold War, which is wild to say, but it's like. I think BL2 had good radios. BL1, BL2, BL3, ah, uh, I don't know. This was the home and some of place it. to so many theories and ideas that got the community invested. And I agree. Most of People were being just so invested rumors, in Transit Lord for some reason. The possibilities the whole time. The Easter Egg and Jimmy Z BO2 maps all have two different sides to the quest with slightly altered steps depending on which path you choose. You can either choose to serve Maxis and power the pylons in his favor using the nav card table, which that as a concept on its own was quite cool, or serve the I love the BO2 the Super Easter Egg. It's still uh, one of my way, favorites. Jimmy Z maps it's probably and like. Easter eggs on them have such Chat, can you make it a ranking every Super Easter Egg video? I'm gonna see. Steps that not Cold War has good, one, I'd argue, BO3 has one, BO2 so has one. Different to say something positive and transit did so BL1 much more has one? than just no, be doesn't. a bad map yes it was scuffed but no it was i don't think you could because there was nothing quite like it no i don't think time. you could there's only and three that's games what scares can't me even a make a top five transit remaster potentially i think they'd have to clean up a lot of the broken elements of what made transit special and it may not have the same interesting aura that original transit always had and I remember quite vividly that at the time, man, I just wish transit wasn't made. Transit, to be honest, I still flaws, disgusting. Still unaware hate this that map. they would look World back on the map very strike? fondly really? later on as what time would pass because they had such good times with their buddies. People miss the good times, not the map. I assure you. Black Ops 2 wasn't setting the year off with the best foot exactly, and that trend. Chat, would Die Rise almost die made rise. me quit zombies. Yeah, like literally, these so, two maps die literally rise almost made me never play this mode ever again. Discussion. Basically, has the same core design and therefore oh, well, core she has a super and reward. strength Transit had. Die Rise opted for, instead of a large, oh, it's just that zombie world, skin. a more vertical and multi floor based design, which pretty much captured the same feel, I'd argue. And the revive test thing I was talking Chat, about. Chat, I will never apply. forgive my friends for voting D Machine out over underneath Die Rise. They think Die Rise is a better map than D Machine. I just hey, think that's here. fucking there wrong. There are some impossible this map sucks. time if you get unlucky, to a point where they this even develop an penis. entire perk to mitigate this problem. Who's Who is essentially uh, is what allowed you to spawn a vulnerable ghost version of yourself that you can, you know, revive yourself How in a pitch, is this not better than D Machine? Really all it I will does. never understand. Again, on paper, the perk is useful, but it actually ends up being realistically more of a liability than anything else. Die Rise's layout is absolutely horrendous, and I, I won't even hold back I on hate that. This it's, map it's like so bafflingly much. bad. Not to mention, there's a massive amount of wasted areas and I know, that realistically dude. don't even. What is that even. area? The Easter egg is some of the nobody most ever weird goes there unless the horde. I've ever seen in a quest, and to this day, I still couldn't explain to you exactly how the Mahjong tile step works in this map 
10 years later. It literally, people had to revise that step in my chat because we the, the tutorial that showed how to do this step was wrong. Like, I honestly don't think that people truly figured out how to do this step until like eight Diorize to 10 years also later. Still features Not some even buildables, literally. albeit way less than what was available. We were Transit, solving the Easter egg much has later. One of the most famous Treyarch trolls of all time. The PhD flopper machine, which, you know, ironically would be insanely useful on this map. Could you imagine getting fired for putting PhD flopper in the map? Imagine, chat. To mitigate there's a home ball damage did. is actually not attainable on die rise, L. even though everyone thought there was some way to acquire this, though, and tried tirelessly to make it happen. Similar to Transit, it had all of the theory crafting and mysterious aura around its unanswered questions as well. There are some Dude, it's TVs wild. That you have to People cared more about Die Rizler than Vanguard. Way That's insane. So you can get or its Cold message, War, it even. It adds to the creepy and unsettling vibe of Die Rise. Chat, will people ever care about Zombies lore like the old games? Yes or no? I don't think so, to be honest. If it's going to be like Cold War, prob not then. But maybe, maybe in the future. The lore in Die Rise was genuinely horrifying, too. Like, the flesh and stuff. It was, oh, scary. Maxis was actually scary in this game, too. And then he the got revealed in BO4, and he was sucked. Also great for the Die Rise sandbox formula. Basically, a broken slip and slide shooter, that please. can kill yes, zombies sir. and affect movement and cause them to stumble around. Which, while on tall buildings, you can see how that was intended to be a hazard. Interestingly, similar to how town exists in relation to transit as a small Are they still map, adding lore into Dyrise Vanguard chat? Was that must be have dreadful. Was going to survival map alongside it too. This never got past early Yeah, that would have been cool if there was a reasons, street level uh, in Dyrise. But still, this would have been super interesting to at least see. There's a few ways Die Rise, I think, could be dramatically improved in its gameplay. And am I suggesting these fixes for a potential remaster? <clears throat> uh, no. Yes, but I'll sir. But anyways. First New of all, Easter make the egg, elevators please. still move on their own, but also work on a manual call button. Yeah, you know, why like, can't you just click a like button? How a real elevator works. Yeah, literally. I, I, I know there's That's a key a great item point. in Die Rise that does this, the but key is it's stupid. a one-time use and it's not nearly yeah, enough. Yeah, the key you also, should be able to pick up and have, have it forever, like have a mob. Increased health and revive speed so you can pick yourself up. Also, clean up the fall damage areas to make them feel a bit more consistent. Clean up the map and also too. make it so one player can carry more than just one buildable part at a time. And finally, Are you down bad with some of the areas Always, that don't dude. get used to Always. optimize the more important ones. There, just a few suggestions that can make the map less painful, but still keeping most of what made it. Fun Chap, die rise two or bury two. Rise has That's some the real really question. Ideas, don't get me wrong. I really like how if you kill all the jumping jacks without missing a bullet, or you use melee or, or traps only, you get a free perk alongside Yeah, I mean, it's more memorable than time. a lot of stuff, I like how this too. particular armored zombie model has a little bit more health on round one, so it's not a one knife. It's a completely unnecessary detail, Yeah, it's detail, only on Die it Rise, sense. which is strange. I like how there are some skill jumps and a perfect timing to consider when going yeah, down some elevators. Yeah, parkour in this map. I like the general atmosphere of the map as well, and it certainly has a unique More parkour it, zombie maps, as please. Stated, more it has core. many pain points within the gameplay. Just but not just by like rise, transit, please. People hated this map initially. It was a big O2 for Treyarch so far. But now some people still look back on it very fondly. But Black Ops 2 was about to make some massive changes to its direction in the form of a new director creatively for their maps. But before we go there, I, I want mean, to take true. a quick detour to some of the things that made Black Ops 2's gameplay very special besides just its maps. Some of these only apply to Jimmy's maps, but perma perks are one of my favorite. Chat, do you guys like ever. Victus Basically, or Primus more on these games? That you can get in because like by doing certain. There are a lot of Victus lovers that did not like Mob and Origins. I feel like, or d like like Victus more than Mob and Origins. For example, rebuilding enough so, barriers in a short amount of time. Man. This game is just so interesting in terms bonus, of people's which opinions. Takes zombies way longer to perma down. perks are cool, or man. Dying with quick I revive love and reviving perks. a certain number of times grants you the perma tombstone perk i.e you keep all of your perks except quick revive after i wish perma down. perks came this back there, it was such helpful. a cool the unique game does system. not explain to you so much how fun finding them too all, which i think is a good thing all you get is a green flash for a second and you have to consider the, the bank last was interaction bad though you just i'm glad they got rid of the bank what perma perk you got and and what it does 
And these can also be lost as well via certain methods, so you have to be mindful of what perma perks are currently in effect or not. Chat, so would fun. you rather prefer the bank or gobblegums? And, and honestly, I question. like a system like this far better I don't know, than dude. choosing perks out of Probably a menu gobbles. like in BO4 yeah, or just BO4. upgrading them once and never thinking about them again yeah, like, like Cold in Cold War. Falls, uh, also, falls the too. leaderboard system is so like gobbles, simple, man. yet somehow Treyarch has failed time and again to have anything any leaderboards this intuitive yo who's it's that so guy? easy to see is that joey rounds, most kills and it even yeah bl2's leaderboard was players. amazing it's very well organized nothing beats and the bl2 can't talk about the leaderboards or cod tv on bl2 discussing the ranking system and BL2 the ranking Zombies system was ranks phenomenal are infamous for not being well understood in yeah. fact there's a perma perk that you that requires you to Ooh, buy the same m14 boy. wall buy or olympia a Cobbles out of way times, more i agree uh, and they're more fun to use, gun eventually like. and that is only possible within the first two rankings of bo2 if you're a one bone or a crossbone rank only then there's the scald which is like i guess middle of the pack yeah you have knife which are jc backfire the knife and then shotguns for Yo, the elite video let's go, JC. and blue eyes on all of these skull icons to indicate consecutive days played chad do you prefer like a bo2 ranking system or a bo3 picked but it did give you a general uh, indication i would love something in between man lobby something were. in between and i think would be amazing because i also think bo2 was the last zombies game to have true public matches in Black Ops Very 3 onward, interesting in, in point, my opinion, but I think it was right. far more common to play with an organized party or just go solo than it was. Because, chat, can I show you something very interesting that I've seen actually on custom zombies? So, what somebody's essentially done on Black Ops 3 is they've made a custom zombies ranking system. One in the chat if you've heard about this. It's really something else. It's called Pegasus. Look at this chat. So look at this. It's literally weapon ranks. You get like a bunch of extra shit. Unfortunately, the one thing I dislike about it, look, it says you can have eight players. There's a lot of people playing on Discord. They got events, double XP. There's skill modifiers, bosses that they add. It's cool. The only bad thing though, is you get this ugly ranking system on the side. Chat, should I make videos about this? Should I try this? One in the chat if I should. It looks like more of like a CS go custom server and shit you got all these settings and stuff you can add bots i think i'm gonna try this for next stream there's reasons for that that i don't have time to get into but it still was they got the bots so yeah i gotta i gotta i gotta maps, i gotta there try were so it, many special elements bo2 already had going for it not to mention modes like 4v4 grief mode and turned that let you play as the zombie but all that stuff considered uh there were also some cut content apparently that would have probably came to the game had jimmy zlinski stayed in charge some world i mean war, this homie uh, was on the way out with die rise man. Black this guy is just like peace like die yeah. rise and perhaps even nocturne toten that were probably prototyped for bo2 but never actually saw True. release and i think the reason primarily is because they shifted direction uh, and really the course of zombies forever with what did DLC the mod do it just adds a ranking system and custom zombies so you can play any custom zombies so, map here we go mob of the dead it. This map would Shout out to Mob not the just only change the course of Black Ops 2 Zombies, this map but changed everything. Call of Duty Zombies as a whole, I agree. forever. This was the first introduction into what we're going to call the Blundell era of maps, since Jimmy Z was no longer the main creative direction for this project. That went to Jason Blundell. Now, honestly, I, I don't know much about why exactly midway through Black Ops 2, Treyarch changed directors for Zombies maps, but if I had to take a guess... Because everybody was, was shitting on Transit and Die Rise. 100% that was the, the reason. Because of the relatively poor reception yeah, of both 100%. Transit and Die Rise at Dude, the time. Dude, the community was BO2 just Zombies shitting was on dire it. Straits also, BO2 lost a massive amount of community. Like, chat, BO2 was mainstream, and then, like, literally, it lost so many people because of that and then bo3 gained a lot and then bo4 lost Bob of the dead all. represented so, a new way of doing manscape nuketown only is the what's there to talk about a nuketown zombie unbelievably cool but it's, it's combat training for black ops 2 direction I mean, that's about from it. the jimmy z formula of maps as well taking almost the mob was the, the first story map though which it makes it so interesting but let's talk about the setting first this was the first map in Black Ops 2 to have a celebrity cast and to not be the generic crew or the transit crew we've been playing in the story so far. 
the story Dude, essentially yeah. is that there are these four mobsters stuck on the real Al Alcatraz Island. It was one of the first interesting crews next to five and shit. Sins. Only by breaking the cycle may they call be the set dead. free. Yeah. It was also such a hard shift in story up to this point where we've been following the Victus crew and I know, you know, dude. they're what dealing a with the Rick through transit and die rise and Mob of the Dead like, comes chat, along. And imagine you blow up the earth and out of all four characters that you leave and they decide to make a story of, they choose Victus. We're honestly not what even sure if these what even take L. place in the same universe. However, if you listen to the dialogue carefully, you discover that they reference people like Nikolai and others, indicating that this is still somehow related to the things we've been we've Which been is playing what they should have done in Chaos, man. People would have cared so much more. I give Mob of the Dead an A+. Plus the Chaos setting, just has bad uh, characters, and atmosphere man. and story alone, but its gameplay is also something I find exceptional as well. Jimmy's Z-Maps up to this point, for all intents and purposes, have been giant sandboxes with no real clear direction or goal other than just survive. Sure, they have Mom the main story, like but a they're basically map, just survival real. maps. They're wide open in terms of structure and how the player can interact with it. Mob of the Dead, on the other hand, is very expertly crafted in a single direction. Right off the bat, you spawn in Afterlife telling the player two things. Number one, this is this a new mechanic to get used to. Real. And number two, there are some things only accessible using this mode with a double points door that can be unlocked if you're clever enough I and mean, paying shout attention. Out to my man, Within the first points, five man. seconds of a match, the player is already given information without them even knowing. Exactly. Second, the yeah. literal pictures on the wall, uh, the dialogue of the characters, and even the HUD all indicate that you need to find and gather so well plane crafted, parts dude. to escape it's from the It's so loop. wild how first blood minute of the, of the exists, gameplay, man. and you already it's have so an objective. Wild first two minutes of gameplay you open doors and discover a dog on the wall that literally eats zombies so naturally you feed it until it disappears no reward is given to the player at this point though prompting the player to look for more of these and five minutes into gameplay you've stumbled across the plane parts and i know right like the pacing of this map them. is so I won't good go any further, like we just played it today the man the it's such great like, pacing right there's always hey, something to go do go grab this thing and and use it over here on this other thing and use it over here and you'll get rewarded it's like this very intentional pathway and there's so many cool skips as like well man complete opposite i love it jimmy and mostly everyone responded positively to this new take on Zombies gameplay. The Easter egg also has a proper ending as opposed to the other BO2 the best maps zombies before map it. Of all as time. the very last Shut step of the main you, quest, you go to the rooftop and battle it out with a friend. I know, on right? And depending on One of the most iconic Easter egg steps, weasel, in we'll my opinion. determine whether the cycle continues or is broken. Mob of the Dead <laughs> also is one of drops. the best maps, in my opinion, at giving the player ample choices to progress further, but not punishing you if you don't. So, what does that mean exactly? Well, for starters, you can craft like the Origins, acid yet kit for the Wonder Weapon, but don't have to, and it's a solid shotgun on its own. Magma you get? Also, you can get the Golden Spork from the bathtub that can one-knife zombies into, like, round 34, but you also don't have to if you don't want to. You can upgrade the Tomahawk I mean, or the Hell's Retriever. In also, the, the Easter eggs on this map are fun. But you absolutely They're not don't like have to Blood do that of the Dead well. side quests, kind of so I wouldn't recommend take, like, it. But these years. are just fun side things to go for as well, so that the experience of Mob doesn't have to feel the same every time. Because that can happen. As much as the True. structured experience is That's good, the thing, it does have the problem with Jason's maps. Often, the they can be too game linear. Of these maps and the setup feels basically the same every Yeah, it can be time, very linear. That's a great hurt point. Mob That's a too great, much great in point. My eyes. Also, remember how I said earlier that transit was restricted due to the hardware limitations at the time? Well, so was Mob. Originally, Treyarch wanted to do basically the whole of Alcatraz Island and prison. I mean, good thing they didn't do that, right, chat? Good thing and they so didn't do that. The real that sounds like a real bad idea. <laughs> they just straight up cut out anything that good thing didn't they didn't need do to that, be dude. there. And basically, no, the restrictions that. made them tighten up all the areas they kept in. There's pretty much no wasted space on mob, and they had to cut out all the unnecessary. I don't know the why they wanted they to include the whole map. They optimized mob because of the either. limitations instead of making huge sacrifices. Yeah, to try and that's to why mob was forever a better map than blood. Because guess what, chat? They added the rest of it in blood, and what did they have to put in? A fast travel, because the map was too fucking big. Instead of making huge sacrifices, and got rid of the golden gate. Like I know, which was an iconic Again, piece. Mob is no perfect map either. In fact, in terms of substance, I think the main quest is a little on the thin side, but that's just... I agree. It's, it's such a great introduction map, though. It's, however, chock full of 
plenty of cool side easter eggs that aren't even needed, but they add a little something special to the map. I know, dude. The RPG tower upgrade. Like, dude, these are the fun side easter eggs. Like, side easter eggs don't have to be 900 steps. That's why those aren't fun, dude. The fun ones are just like the little extra ones that add oh, something here and there. Awful. You know, I love those. I mean, the Blood of the Dead side Easter eggs as well. I still playing just, Mob oh, even to this day and it. enjoy it as much as I did when yeah. it first came out. High rounds are Chat, Blood of the Dead the better than Mob? Very enjoyable I do not think so, dude. Over again. And it's just I hate an outstanding map, map so and an excellent piece that saved Black Ops 2 Zombies at that point in time. And that would lead into the DLC 3 map of all time. Jimmy Zelinsky's last Kino map, Dirt and Black Ops 1. Dude, shout out to Buried, man. So, this brings us to our boy Buried. We love Buried, Buried too. This map would famously Where's my boy be Jimmy You don't want to do 300 trap kills for a melee and, weapon? Bro, in my opinion, is I the only him, map in BO2 that really nailed the sandbox gameplay that I think he was going for. I and agree. as far as settings go, this is located in an old western town. Buried is such a unique layout, man. And, it's, and it works. Up somewhere in Angola, Africa. Mob of the Call? And just the atmosphere That's and my favorite like, the setting alone is worth talking talking about being an old rundown western town probably by itself would have been enough but shove that all underground and you have the setup for a super unique setting buried also has one of the more interesting shout out my man leroy love well. the atmosphere you have dude, this I know. upper buried railing great, with man. a skill jump lsat wall I miss this map. that you can only get if you don't screw up the jump miss having Otherwise, layouts like this because right this map felt map. like an adventure and you need to jump right down from that the beginning pit anyways to get to the actual buried part of the town now again because this is a Jimmy map, there's little to no structure at all in terms of how the player approaches things. True. You're basically free to explore you just, you any just way you entered. want up to a certain point you just in exist. which you realize there are some barricades that can't be I did the jump by there, dude. I did. I'm Instead, a parkour eventually gamer. eventually you encounter Leroy in his cell or Arthur or whatever. And the then parkour you open his cage and realize really you can give too. him booze and he will break down these barricades for you. Give him candy and he can build traps for you. Lock Chat, him is Leroy the best the AI game, still on zombies? So much more. I think he could the be. The game dude. doesn't tell you this stuff. He's the best. The game only like, lets you know what he's capable AI of helper, through experimentation. He alone better adds than, so much better than shadows, personality to the map. Like, better what than even are you, Klaus, my guy? You're, you're like anything, nine dude. feet tall, still keep a fresh he does cut so despite many being alone in jail. Things, it's man. so interesting, man. And it's just another one of those iconic and memorable pieces. David Hasselhoff, I mean, he's okay. The amount of buildable items Bert, like, alone Leroy does is impressive. So many and different the main features, Easter egg too. actually feels somewhat coherent for a Jimmy Z map in Buried. Very uh, there are still some steps that eyes. just I mean, I genuinely make no sense. Like the colored levers, for example. A lot of people think that. That color them, and the set. way you must hit it them sucks. is indicated by the color on the candy jars, but this is just completely No, it's untrue. just wrong, but dude. Many it's just bought RNG. A lot of these urban it's just straight up RNG. associated with Buried because they were kind of hard to disprove. In any case, Buried also introduced a large number of some of the most broken weapons ever in COD Zombies. True. Namely, in the form of the Paralyzer Wonder Weapon with yep. infinite ammo they had to patch and the ability it. to fly and glide around the map yep. with it. Also, the Ray Gun Mark II was added with this Mark DLC, II was very and it was OP retroactively the added to the box of all maps before yeah. it as well. The Witch's House that is required to get through to obtain Pack-a-Punch is responsible for some of the most iconic imagery in Buried, and these actually have a basis in real life lore as well, which I will get into, Kino but Black Black it's Ops extremely one. fascinating. Nah, I like Ascension. Buried is really the only map like that nailed it, in my opinion, for having that fun sandbox gameplay without Five's being terrible. Amazing, it also housed the first ever Zombies Super Easter Egg, so if you True. had done all the Easter Eggs prior for a specific person... Chat, how many Super Easter Easter eggs are there. For it. BO2, BO3, BO4 doesn't box have one. And Cold War, ending IW, I think it's only on four. You gave power to. BO4 also, should have been the new fifth and one, unique though. bonuses would be applied to the player's game after activating this. World War 2 has one, but not really. Wonder weapons or a Advanced Warfare sales, does not like have that. one, does it? Above all else, Buried is one of the most charming remember? maps out there and is aged well and playable even to this day. I do take some issues with Buried, but most of them come from the fact that all of the gameplay is so loose and unstructured. But all they're the minor trophies. in comparison, that shit and not does even not really count. worth discussing. That shit is lame all in all, hell. solid zombies map and an absolute icon in its own right, and 
As previously stated, this the fucking would be Jimmy's final the super map with Treyarch, but outbreak. Black Ops 2 that. still that had is one so map to go, lame. and that was the monumental, groundbreaking map Chat. that was Origins. If Origins didn't release, I think Black Ops 2 would have been bad. I'm gonna be real. Origins basically saved this game, to be honest. So Origins, Origins would be the final installment a in huge the Black deal. Ops 2 Zombies offering, and did it ever end with a bang? You know, in my eyes, the only DLC for Treyarch maps that have ever really nailed it, it are Moon and, and Origins. Origins. Quite Everything literally. else kind yeah. of fell flat or was just yeah. sort of mid on its own compared True. to the maps that came True. before it. Origins, at the time of its release, was earth-shattering. We had never seen anything quite like it. This also It's so sad. Us. I don't think we'll ever get an earth-shattering experience like Origins, man. The new Absolutely version sad. of our original zombies. We'll crew, never get anything better A lot of the community this. were missing. You so know, sad, after Because we haven't played them since Black Ops 1. Tank, Richtofen, Nikolai, and Takio were The promotion imagery us, for this was amazing, this a too. Different. The setting involves the three honing in on Richtofen for capture on the battlefields of World War I in northern France, but quickly discover that the area has been overrun by the undead. The crew that we now know as Primus must work together to survive. Thematically, Origins is one of my favorite, and I've explained this before, but I think Origins visually represents what Zombies is. You've got the upper portion of the map being a dull, dreary, and depressing set of trenches to represent the monotonous part of Zombies gameplay. Shooting zombies I mean, and, you know, rebuilding barriers, etc. Then you have the crazy place that exists as a visual indicator of the secret depth of each Zombies map and what those hold. Figuratively, I mean, and chat. I don't think I've ever a... met someone that's like particularly disliked Origins. Like, I think I've heard people that say it gets monotonous or boring, but I don't think I've ever heard someone outright say it's their worst zombies map. Traditional you know? survival map. I think everybody loves this map at least a little underneath bit. Underneath the surface, and just like with Mob of the Dead, Jason Blundell would expand on that structured formula for Origins as well. This map generally guides the player along to turn on generators, discover the pack-a-punch machine, and by that point, you'll likely have discovered Couldn't the understand how to turn on power? The lower I know, but that's what makes her a great map. At that when point, you really you're don't free know to what's do going technically on. whatever you like, but the game does You don't really get that feeling anymore in Zombies. ...for you to build the stabs of the Ancients. Origins also broke new ground at the time by introducing the concept of four unique wonder weapons for the <laughs> No, Origins Whereas introduced before, it. Generally speaking, Omega there were only Lord, one bro. to two wonder weapons available per map. Jack did. The staff he hated it, but he liked some things about it. different functions, but are all great when you know how to use them. Some are for sure better than others, and some are also built for offensive play, while some do much better as a defensive play style. But all things considered... I mean, the glove with BO2 will forever be crazy. This game one. started with origins transit and ended with origins in terms of how like the what operates in it how uh, they also introduced a mini boss enemy the panzer soldat that is one of the i mean i also agree if you don't like origins then you just don't like cod zombies uh, for real mini i feel like if you don't like origins franchise. you're not gonna this like the rest will of the game grab you from 80 feet away toast you then butter you up and call it a day with no remorse He's got a few balance issues that I would complain about, but all things considered, I think he's still a great fit to work. He's really easy to kill with the Claymore, though. He feels like he has an intimidating presence when entering the map. Each player yeah. flinches a little bit inside whenever this dude's Pans spawns around in, eight boys. or hears we'll never the siren. Forget. Uh, now, Origins is an amazing map in almost every way, and it's a top-tier map within the series, I'd argue, but it's not without its flaws as well. First off, to do the main Easter egg, each staff has to be Chat, built and upgraded. I'm going to be honest. Why was there no boss fight with one of the giants on Origins? Why was there never a boss fight like that? I always in think that's player, so interesting. This is fine and actually quite straightforward and fast to do. They should have really solo, added though, one for Origins. This can get tedious, and it's worth noting that Treyarch fully Too much intended work. Origins I mean, and uh, Easter egg so to great. be only doable with four players. But eventually, solo players figured out a way that they can hit the button inside the robot and still use the... Uh, the Not special enough grenade GPU. you get to break I mean, the seal true. and it, that died. entire system makes it possible in a small window for you to be able to solo this easter egg besides getting and upgrading all the staves there's pretty much like two other real easter egg steps that are extremely quick and simple so yeah. it's not the best solo easter egg but it's doable and it's still a great this easter egg was not designed for solo also, that's 100 true have the you can tell layout. 
This has mostly to do with the gramophone system, yeah, where the there's only is hard. one active portal at a time. And if you forget the gramophone, you have to run all the way back to the tunnel it was at, then the run PS3. all the way back again you. to the one you actually needed to go through. This could have been mitigated, I think, by leaving the portals active once you've activated them one time around already. Also, I was never really a huge fan of having to go back and save the generators from the Templar zombies being disabled every couple I of rounds. I know, what that a terrible feature. Spawning in, that shit is such an L. Probably the worst way, feature on Origins. High rounds are extremely fun on Origins. High Easter rounds are egg, fun, well, though. Again, not great solo. is still an enjoyable experience, and it's still kind of fun. Still bloody amazing. Also, the fact of the matter is it's got ton of fun side Easter eggs and interesting things to discover literally every time you True. play. True. It's like Shadows of Evil in that manner. I, I feel like I notice something new in Origins every time I play yeah, it. Yeah, Origins now, and Shadows are very similar. Even if it's not similar. anything super crazy. With one of the most controversial Easter egg ending cutscenes of all time, it's safe to say that Zombies was at one, least boys. back on the map for a lot of people, and Origins alone provides great gameplay challenges for, you know, casuals and hardcore players alike, even to this day. Now, BL3 made me love Origins. Chat, do you like BL2 or BL3 Origins? I think I like BL2 Origins and better. And generally speaking, I do think so most only people BL2 thing I like more than BL3. Game. But with that said, Black Ops 2 would have been a lesser game with either of them oh, having agree. full control. I agree. Because of their vastly different approaches, both Jimmy maps BL2. and Jason PhD. maps have I mean, a distinct feel and flavor to them. Where Jimmy is chaos, Jason is order. Where Jimmy is yin, Jason is yang. Quite Looking literally. back, I'm glad we had both of these different styles for our maps offering in Black Ops 2 because there was something for everybody. I wish so, we had that in BL4 because, uh, like, BL3, it's interesting that BL1 was Jimmy Zelensky's game and then BL2 was Zelensky and Blundell. BL3 was Blundell's game, but then BL4 was just Blundell's game as well. It should have been Blundell's game and Kevin Drew's game. But now that Cold War is out, it's mainly just Kevin Drew. So If you didn't it'll like be a particular style of map, you could try the other. BO2 would have certainly been a lesser game without these varieties that these two BO2 would not have been design. as fondly remembered like without Origins. Of them 110%. Had their own ideas. Some of them were terrible, yes. Yeah. But that's why I think Black Ops 2 Zombies is beautiful because of its flaws. I mean, true. Shout out to Black Ops 2, boys. Black Ops 2. If we love Black Ops 2. Is truly the Easily package. one of the most the iconic player games. Experience and, and worth its price. I still multiplayer. think. Great and game. Honestly, a massive variety game. offering in Zombies. And at the end of the day, I'm a firm believer that there will never be another game like Black Ops 2. I mean, there I agree. There were so many things in choices BL2 was that just you know, set phenomenal. this game apart from the rest. And for a game to age... As Chat, well, would you rather go back to DLCs or seasons? This one took some real craftsmanship that was exceptionally special. DLCs Treyarch like this made me and have fun with the game, dude. I don't know, bro. For sure. they I really don't know it to the what the answer to that ability. question is. I think we all got something a seasons little just different out suck, of Black man. Ops 2, but we're all unified in the sense that we have this shared experience together to look very fondly back on. True. I mean, yeah, boys. Rest in peace. We miss Black Ops 2. Well, chat, great videos from Chop. Shout out to my man Chops. We love that, my man.